Hey there, welcome to The Breakfast Club. I'm Kazoom. And sorry for this late upload. The uploading schedule for everyone is kind of off right now anyway, so... Probably doesn't matter that much, but... I still deal with things revolving around toxic masculinity to this day. Most of my life, most of my adult life, no, I, most of my life, I've tried to fit into this role of what it is to be masculine. And I used to be really worried about, you know, when I was a teenager, it was all about trying not to be this skinny, nerdy geek who gets pushed over all the time. Then in my 20s, I focused on, well, let's try to, let's look like a hippie. So at least if I'm going to be looked at as a pushover, at least I'll, I'll have... I'll have that sort of thing going on. Then in my 30s, it was uh, eventually pushing into trying to be heavy, trying to be a bear. And uh, then, of course, I come to find out, yeah, that was kind of stupid. To uh, I, I got up to 290 pounds and uh, realized, oh, shit, this was a really bad mistake. And that was only in 2017 when I really fully came to realize that. Holy shit, this, is, this was stupid. Then I lost 110 pounds, and uh, actually a little, just a little bit more than that. And uh, I'm doing a lot better health-wise now, but... You know, I, I've stopped trying to be a bear, so to speak. But I just sometimes wonder, what would I have been like if I wouldn't have tried to push for being masculine so much? I mean, even at home, there was... There was always this notion of, well, it's okay if you're gay. You know, I didn't have a problem coming out of the closet... You know, it's okay if you're gay, just don't act like those gay people. If you, if you ever start acting all feminine like that, I'll beat the crap out of you. This, was, this came from my mother. So, you know, in addition to always trying to look up to people that I could consider father figures, because I never had a father... I had a push from my mother that I, well, I can't be this over here. Yeah, I wonder what I would have been like. I wonder if I would have even have tried to go for the bear thing eventually. What would I have been like? I have a lot of regrets with this, you know, my, my body is kind of ruined as far as physical appearance from getting so heavy and then, you know, you lose the weight and you have the extra skin and there's, there's not really anything that can be done about it except possible surgery and then you have the scars from the surgery even if, even if you had that done, right? So, yeah, I, I kind of fucked myself over there. But at least I am healthy or... Knock on wood, I'm healthy. But... Why is there this... This desire still? Why do I have this beckoning to be masculine. Why? I'm 46 years old. 
I mean, I feel a lot more free than I ever have, as far as that goes, to free to be who I want. Part of shaving this part off, of course, I need to reshave, obviously. I, but uh, part of shaving this, some of this off was just like, well, now that I don't feel I need to be a bear anymore, you know, who am I? Some parts of me is I, I'm who I've always been. And other parts of me are uh, a, a constantly changing. But there's still this masculine pride thing that's still kind of left over. I have to keep my masculine pride. Yet why? Why? At this age, why, why do I, why do, why does part of me still care about it? I don't understand it. And I saw this article in the New York Times, it was from last year, talking about twinks. I can leave a link to it in the description bar. Kind of wish that sort of thing would have been around when I was in my 20s. Feminine men, thin men, hairless, because at the time I was pretty hairless. Hairless men are kind of looked up to now. Wasn't that way before. But, you know, throughout my 20s and my 30s, probably, I still wanted a father figure. What if I would have found a father figure, someone to look up to in that way, that didn't buy into traditional masculinity? I know there are a lot of pauses in this video, and I'm sorry about that. Just regrets. Thinking about regrets. Things I wish would have been different. And, and we all have those things that we wish were different. But my experiences are what make my, me t the person I am today, so. At least I'm still here. At least I still have my health, or I hope I have my health. I guess I'm repeating myself. I guess I don't know what more to say right now. Thanks for listening if you have.